All right, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about what happens when you fall off the wagon with your diet. And this is important, probably the most important part of these uh, weight loss series graphs that I'm going to talk to you about because, you know, there's going to be times where you're doing very consistent with your weight loss and then all of a sudden you get these spikes in, in your weight loss graph, okay? And I talked to you about the importance of plotting your weight versus time. So this is, this is actually a graph of my weight that I started plotting. I was actually up to 260 pounds. So my, my actual weight started up here, even though I didn't plot it. You know, I, I started plotting it when I was around, two, I think 247 was the highest. But this weight, this, this graph kind of actually went all the way back up to about 260. So I've been on this steady weight loss pattern the whole time. And I've talked to you about how, what, you know, how to plot the moving averages, how to plot these lowest low values. You can go back in the other videos to, to see that. One of the important things about plotting these averages is it gives you more of a smooth plot of your weight. So this blue line here is actually, uh, this, this blue line right here is actually my, my day to day weight here. And every day that I, that I wake up, I, I write my weight down. I write it down on this graph because it's important to understand what's happening with your weight. If you want to lose weight, you need to do it every day. I know there's some people that say don't don't look at your the scale for a, you know a week and you know don't you know I don't believe in that I think that's nonsense I think you need to do this every day and so you can see in this graph you see these smooth curves this this red line is more smooth because the red line is a seven day average of the weight okay and the green line is a 31 day average or about a month average something in there if you wait so notice it's very smooth you see the the basic trend of the weight coming down like that. Okay, but notice it starts plateauing into here. Occasionally, you'll see some spikes in this graph, and almost always, I can tell you when the spikes come, they come over a holiday or something. So, for example, right here, the spike right here, this is right over my birthday, right? If you see a spike into here, this is right over Christmas, the Christmas holidays into here, right? If you see a spike here, this is right over spring break when I had some time off, right? But you see this huge spike up into here, and this just happened to me. I went on vacation. I went, I went on like three different vacations. And I went to, to different places that were near the water. So I went to like the Keys and I went to, you know, the coastal regions. And part of this graph is deceptive and it looks like a huge weight gain in a short period of time. Some of it is that I was, you know, these, these cities live near the coast and they have these desalinization plants and the water's full of salt. And so I gained a lot of weight from, from just holding water. But I also probably gained about, you know, of the, it looks like I gained about 10 pounds. I, I really also gained about probably five true pounds out of that. But the point is, you know, I, I plot this every day. And then you can see very quickly how easy it is to kind of fall off the wagon here with your weight. Now, if you don't write your weight down, but once every week or two weeks, you're going to have these, these, these very large moves in your weight. And you're not even going to notice it. So... Right away, when I got back, I started to, you know, cut back. I, I doubled up on some exercise, and I got that weight to pull back, you know, closer to where it was in that low range, probably around 224. I'd hit about 220. And so right away, I was able to see that. Now, if you don't write your weight down and if you don't graph it, you're not going to be able to see this. You're not going to be able to see these rises and, and, and falls in the graph. And these are important because... If your daily weight rises above your average, your like you say your 30-day average here, okay, that's a problem, right? Because you want you want it to be if you want it to be trending down, right? You want it to be always going down. So you want to keep these basically in line on a falling range until you get to your target. My target is uh, probably around 210 to 2, 2, 200 to 210, somewhere in there. So here's 210, here's 200. I'm looking to get into this range here about 205. So you know that's where I'm looking to go. So over time. I'll get down there. But the point is, you can't have these periods where you fall off the wagon and you, you know, you eat too much, you go on vacation, holiday, whatever it is. But the important thing is that you plot it immediately and you notice uh, the issue and you correct it. And if you don't write your weight down, you're not going to be able to do that. You're not going to be able to get to your goal. So this is where I'm going. Probably closer to 200, but let's just say 205 would be a good short-term goal for me. And that's where I'm going. And I'm looking to be there probably sometime around the new year uh, with, with my weight loss program. So you know, that's just a summary here and a, pr a practical summary here to show you my experience of uh, plotting your weight and why it's important to, to know when you get off track and then just to keep plotting it. Even if you keep, if you're in a gain period, plot it anyway so you can see what's happening 
and then take you know take action to correct that as soon as you can.